We're going to start with the co-main event here. Because you actually think Anderson Silva can win that fight. I mean, you could say think. I, I <laughs> feel it. I, I feel like I know at this point what's okay. going to happen in that fight. So then, it seems like smart money for you is playing Anderson Silva, who's a plus 450 on plus, the betting line. Plus 450. Shout out to uh, Bet365, which is what I run with. Okay. Shout yeah. out to BestFightOdds.com, which do show you prop bets months in advance for MMA fighting. Plus so. 450. Plus 450. For the greatest fighter of all time. Yes. Against a fighter who is great. I love Adesanya too. Minus 600 for Adesanya. That's insanity. <laughs> that's insanity. Listen, if I, I, I don't bet on fights. I mean, that's just the frank truth. But if right. you're telling me who I'm going to put my money on, right. if you want to make some money, frankly, They want to make money. They don't want to lose money. Listen, it's simple. You put your money on Anderson Silva. Okay. This is a stand-up fight. Yep. Anderson Silva is a stand-up fighter. We've never seen him really get beat on the feet. Right. Most people that beat him, they take him to the ground. Yep. And they find another way to... You know what I mean? To yeah, get past yeah, him, but yeah. when it's just a straight stand up fight, we've never seen him get dominated. I think you gotta kinda take a flyer on this. Plus four fifty. And it's plus it's plus close to seven fifty if you get Anderson to win inside the distance. So if he goes in there and does what Anderson does. Yeah. And knocks Izzy out. Then now you're really making money. I don't know if I, I feel on that one quite as strong okay, because good. I think it'll be tactical. Yes. But I, I think the smart money here is on Anderson Silva. How you Your think? smart money. The smart okay. money. Yeah. The smart <laughs> money. Because what I'm saying to you white belts, if you truly want to make that money, <laughs> is you go Adesanya inside the distance. Okay. Winning by KO, winning by submission. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's not going to be a submission. Mm -hmm. But I think he finishes Anderson Silva. I think he gets him out of there in the first round, early second round. And that's a minus 150. So you put, if you put, a lot, you, put <laughs> you put 30 bucks down, you make 20. Anderson Silva's only been finished one time in his career. One time. He got Is cut on the chin when he was dancing against okay, Wyatt, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he got clean. He but got knocked no, the out. flying scissor heel hook back in 2002 or whatever that was. Okay, oh, okay, okay. before I mean, my time, frankly, no, before no, my time. Right? I know what or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, no. It could go down that way, Raj, but I just don't know if that's the more likely way. Okay. We'll see what happens, I guess. Listen, let's move to the main event then. Oh, okay. Let's talk about that just a little bit, just okay, a little bit. On it. <laughs> yeah. So you already said in a previous video that yeah. you, we think, we both think Whitaker's going to get that done. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're not really making money with that bet. We're not no. going against the grain. Because that's a minus 275. Minus 275? Yes. Yes. Listen, if it's minus 275, and what are the odds for Gastelum right now? You could probably go plus 185, plus 200. Plus 200 around yeah. there. The smart money there, guys, listen to me on this. The smart money is on Gastelum. Okay. That fight is very, very close. Right. Both these guys do a lot <laughs> of the same things. Yeah. If you're telling me I can get twice the odds yeah, for Gastelum, you know yeah. I'd put it on Gastelum. That's just where the money should be. Yeah, you know what? It's it's not it's not what bad. Do you think it's it? a close fight. I do think Whitaker gets it done. Yeah. I think Whitaker gets it done. Like I said, I think he finishes Gaslam in the okay. later round. So that's where you're. So I'm going inside the distance, and that's going to be about a plus one twenty five. So I'm still making some good money. It's a little <laughs> bit of a safer bet, but I'm not mortgaging the house. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. I'm not making no money regardless, guys. But if you want to make some, you ride with your boy Q. Who are you guys betting on? Let us know in the comments below. We're out.